previous episodes, we've talked about the importance of making sure we have two trees for proper pollination. We've also talked about the importance of finding trees that are hardy enough for our environments. One thing we probably haven't touched on, but should, is selecting trees that require two different varieties for proper pollination, but making sure that they actually bloom and flower at the same time so we can get those plants to cross-pollinate. Now, as you'll see behind me, we have one tree, an apple tree, for example, that's just starting to bloom. And then the tree here on my right is actually in full bloom. Now, we're probably going to be okay uh, as far as when these trees actually have their timing for when they blossom and we get good cross-pollination. You'll definitely want to think about that if you plant two varieties to make sure they flower at the same time and then don't end up with any fruit because they didn't properly pollinate. Now another thing this landowner has done is actually taken some, some chunks off their tree and they're actually grafting on different varieties. That way they hopefully have a better chance of getting better cross-pollination with the timing to be more closely related. For more information on fruit selection and fruit production in your area, contact your local University of Wyoming Extension office. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Brian Sebade, and you're watching From the Ground Up.